So my name is Ruby Bishop, I'm 17 years old and I play wheelchair tennis for Great Britain. I've recently launched a campaign to battle against discrimination in physical education lessons in mainstream schools. And I started my campaign just after I left high school in 2020. And I started it because I know that a lot of children and young people face difficulties when trying to access PE lessons. And I know from my own experience that it's often just easier to be left out and do your own thing. And I think that definitely did have an impact on the rest of my schooling because I felt like I was almost two different people, you know, inside school I was disabled and, you know, I just sat out and wasn't included, but outside school, you know, I was playing wheelchair tennis, I was playing wheelchair basketball as well, and I was gaining a world ranking, I was representing this country, and like I said, inside school I'd done no PE, um, and that did have an impact on me. And I know I remember in year seven and eight, I would make PowerPoints about all these Paralympians and I came across Jordan Wiley's story and I saw everything that she had achieved. And I kind of looked up to her from then to start my tennis journey. And I know that as well, she had struggles in school, whether that was because of PE or people just being mean, because it wasn't easy growing up being different and being in a wheelchair. And you know, I felt like almost I could relate to her and finally someone understood how I felt. I met Ruby a few years ago when uh, she was competing at the school games and um, I was actually pregnant at the time, but I sold her one of my old tennis chairs, um, which was kind of cool. I was really glad that it was going to some use. And um, I watched her play and I knew she had a bright future ahead of her. Um, now um, I would I would consider her a friend. She's a really sweet girl, and I love being a very very small part of her journey. Um, and watching her compete for Great Britain for the first time, and getting better and better as she as she goes on and gets older. Um, I'm really proud of her for doing this campaign. I think it's really important that kids feel um, that they feel involved no matter you know their background or disability or anything like that and I feel like PE should be inclusive for absolutely everyone it's a fun thing to be involved with and you know sport in general um, is very inclusive so I'm really proud of her for doing that and I'm in full support of her and her campaign and I wish her all the best. I remember this one time I'd come back from having a major operation and I was in my wheelchair and all these people were going into this building and Obviously the teacher was outside and I kind of thought to myself like what are they going to do here, how are they going to deal with this situation and they just looked me up and down and carried on their day like it was nothing, you know, they left me outside and walked in with the class and I don't think that teacher actually realised the impact that had on me, you know, to feel so invisible and, you know, that made me feel so sad and I think that is why I'm so passionate about this change that's clearly still needed, you know, buildings that aren't accessible like that should have been sorted years ago and not including someone in PE as well you know disabled people can do sport if not the Paralympics wouldn't exist and I think that motivates me like everything that happened at school motivates me to make that change so that's why I've started this campaign why Chloe Smith backed it and why I'm now working with Tennis Able working with a lot of charities to work with schools um, and to run sessions for children with disabilities and kind of sort this problem out that needs to be fixed.